Glass is a highly sustainable material. It can be recycled countless times without losing purity or quality. The recycling process starts with the collection of waste glass, either through bottle bank or dry commingled collection. In dry commingled collection, the glass is first separated from other recyclables at a materials recovery facility before it is transferred to the actual glass recycling plant. Let us look inside such a recycling facility and see how waste glass processing works. This automatic recycling facility was designed to extract non-glass residues from glass with an in-feed capacity of 25 tons per hour. The plant is fed with a wheel loader that transfers the material to feed hoppers. Discharge feeders positioned below the feed hoppers allow the material to pass into the actual processing hall via a conveyor belt. Here, the input material is separated from loose ferromagnetic impurities and screened at the primary screen with oversized uncrushed fraction then transferred to the pre-sorting stage. The oversized materials are then cleared of bulky pieces and large contaminants by either manual or automated sorting and then crushed using roll crusher to achieve a uniform flat particle size. Subsequently, the post-crusher material is combined with the undersized fraction from the primary screen and further brought to the drying process. The drying process consists in most cases of a rotary drum dryer and a dryer air extraction system that dries the glass and cleans the surface of the glass in one step. With the drying process designed by Red Wave, the process can be adapted to different input material compositions by either drying all the input material or selecting a certain grain size to be dried only. After that, the dry material is further treated for metallic materials with both ferrous and non-ferrous, being separated from the glass by magnets and eddy current separators. At the subsequent optical sorting process, the glass, which is now called cullet, is cleared from plastics and other inert materials by red wave sorters with different sensor configurations. Color cameras search the cullet for inert materials such as ceramics and stones, whilst plastics are recognized by the means of near-infrared spectroscopy sensors. Glass with traces of heavy metals such as lead glass and glass ceramics are detected by X-ray fluorescence technology. Upon detection, unwanted materials are ejected by air valves. Final quality control sorting ensures the highest color purities of up to plus 99% in products such as flint colored, amber colored, and green colored. With red wave glass color sorters, even the slightest color differences can be detected to obtain half colors, such as half flint from flint, for instance. Before the material is considered finished, the products are independently checked by the Red Wave automatic sample taker and analyzer. The results are then logged for quality assurance. The sampling paired with Red Wave made smart plant software will improve the productivity of the recycling process by retrieving and comparing process data provided by Red Wave made smart machinery. The Red Wave Mate will digitalize your entire recycling plant and will provide comprehensive insights into the recycling process. It is even possible to let Red Wave Mate Smart Plant control certain processes of the plant on its own if the operator chooses. The obtained cullet is then transferred for its reuse in glass container production. What was once waste glass has become a high quality raw material. From this moment on, the life cycle of glass begins anew.